hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for stopping by and thank you so much for your great support always and in today's video guys this video about the gambia has been going around has been trending on the net guys regarding the gambia and in this specific video guys we're gonna be seeing why african americans are being beaten robbed and hospitalized in gambia a lot of African Americans, they are undergoing hell in Gambia. Whether they are men or women, but especially women, they are being beaten, robbed, and hospitalized in Gambia. So let's go straight into this video. And let's, I'm going to be catching you up at the end of it with my opinions. Hello and welcome to our channel, Supporting Sisters Who Are Living in the Gambia. And thank you, thank you from my heart to yours for all of the support that we've had. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing and commenting and interacting uh, with our channel. Um, we're a fairly new channel, so we're only two months old and we have over 500 subscribers. And I thank you for that and thank you um, for, for joining with us and talking and discussing. Um, we have three WhatsApp groups. Uh, the first WhatsApp group is Sisters Building in the Gambia and we started that group because many sisters are building and they are taking on building projects and it's not easy. It's not easy being the boss and taking on all of this. A lot of it is you're learning new things and, 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 and you're dealing with electricians, you're dealing with plumbers, you're dealing with builders and it's not easy. So as a support group um, we are there to share ideas and to share good workmen and to share examples and recommendations. Um, there's also a lot of discussion on eco building. Um, so a lot of uh, women now are wanting to build um, in a more eco friendly way. And again, we share ideas on eco building in the Gambia. Anything is possible. Anything you dream is possible um, in the Gambia in terms of building. Um, we also have a sister support group uh, where we share um, um, you know experiences and sisters that are needing support we are there um, so anybody that's going through something or even celebrating something they put it on the whatsapp site and the sisters join in and we celebrate and we give support and we offer support and we offer phone calls and and, and visiting and just meeting up it's not easy, it can be very isolating living somewhere where the language is different, uh, the, 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 sometimes the religion is different, sometimes the culture is different. There are many differences and it can be quite isolating, especially if you're a sister that has chosen to relocate to the Gambia on their Of late guys, we've been hearing a lot of muggings, a lot of robberies, a lot of killings in the Gambia regarding the African-American women. African American women are a big target in the Gambia. They are being unalived in Gambia. They are being robbed. And some of them to the extent of being hospitalized with serious injuries. It's becoming unsafe for these African American women in the Gambia. It's even advisable for them to not visit the Gambia because things, it's like things are getting out of hand. Own. Even if you're married and you choose to relocate to the Gambia, even with your children, it can still be quite an isolating experience. So that is supporting sisters um, on our WhatsApp group. And the last one is buying and selling. Um, the group is for individuals who are buying and selling or it's for um, if you have a business and you want to promote your business. Sorry, I can hear lots of noise there. I think there's a football match that's happened. And, and, and it sounds like they've won. <laughs> so maybe Gunjo has won a football match or something. There's a lot of cheering out there. Um, but yeah, so that's the buying and selling group. So if you have a business, you can um, um, join the group and you can advertise in the group. Um, so that's, that's the groups. Um, so today is quite, it's quite a sad one actually. Um, in our support group, one of our sisters um, was robbed and beaten up quite severely uh, she had to go to the hospital um, basically what happened is she was in a village in the Gunjo area and um, she went to the local shop 
um, to charge her mobile phone. It's not everywhere that has electricity. A lot of people have solar and if the sun's not out, the solar doesn't always work very well in terms of um, the lights might work, but the, the, the current might not work very well. So she went to the local shop to charge her phone and she left her phone in the local shop for just over an hour. And meanwhile, she went to a local cafeteria to sit down, have a coffee and read a book. While she was in the cafe, uh, an elderly gentleman, well, she thought that he was elderly because he had long grey hair. He approached her and started speaking. She had no language in common with him, so she just acknowledged him and carried on reading her book. So, as I said, maybe about an hour or so, she went and collected her mobile phone. And then she started walking back home, which wasn't a, 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 a great distance from where she was. And then she said she felt somebody was following her. So when she turned around to look, he pounced on her and he started beating her with sticks. And he stole her mobile phone and he stole her shoes, I think she said. Um, and she was quite distraught. And, and I think the commotion and the noise she was making, people came out and they chased him and... Um, you know they basically rescued her um so she went to the police and it's now he's now been arrested uh, they've identified him he's been arrested and he's in custody she says he is not gambian okay um but he's now been arrested and she's taking it further she's taken it to court um and wants justice now the reason why we've been in lots of discussions, this came out last night, but the incident happened a week or so ago, but the sister shared it with us last night. Now, as sisters living in the Gambia, it, it's, it's very important for us to feel safe and be safe. Now what happened was when she went to the police station, the police told her that this was not the first incident. And let me correct that. I'm not sure if it was a police or people in the station, but somebody told her that this was not the first incident. He had done it not once, but several times before. And that's what raised our concerns and raised our anxieties. <clears throat> so as sisters living in the Gambia, we need to feel safe, we need to be safe, and we need to have safety nets around us. Now, those who are not in the Gambia, I just need to explain. Um, if I'm in the UK and I call the police, hopefully, you know, there's a number, 911. I've not been there for quite a while. But I think it's 911. And the police will come. It may not be in the next five minutes, but they will come. In the Gambia, it's a little bit different. Uh, a lot of times, if you need the police, you have to go to the station to report the matter. And then you have to bring the police uh, back to your home or back to where the incident happened um, if you are injured quite badly that might be a difficult thing to do um, and the response time then it de is determined on when you can get to the police station so it's a little bit different and this is why we need to assist us think about our safety and think about if an incident happens who where's our safety net who is our safety net who is in our circle of emergency contacts who do we call that can be here in five minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes if anything happens. Um, now, from my experience in the Gambia, if something happens on the street, the Gambian people will jump in, definitely. There's no way they're gonna stand by with a mobile phone taking pictures and taking a video without stepping in, especially if someone's being attacked, whether it's a man, woman or child. Peace is the order of the day here in the Gambia. So they will definitely step in and, and try and create some peace. Um, but as I said, as a woman, we need to think about safety. We could be walking early morning with a dog or we could be going to the shop in the evening and something happens and there's nobody around. How do we feel safe? Now, this lady said she had pepper spray in her bag. But when she turned around, by the time the man pounced on her, she didn't even have time to go in her bag for the pepper spray. So maybe one of the things is... Um, when we're walking to have something in our hand right so that we don't have to go in our bag to get it and number two the sister said that one of the biggest lessons she's learned she felt her guards were down in the cafe because he seemed like an elderly man because he had long gray hair 
So she said that is taught her, don't judge. You know, even if they're elderly, you still have to have your safety net. You still have to, you know, walk and be aware of your surroundings, no matter who it is. Um, so it's, it's, it's a concern. It really is a concern that these things have happened. But let's put it in perspective. Gambia is very small in the UK, in the US, in Europe. Every day there's a woman or a child that gets killed. You may not hear about it if it's not in your immediate area. I could be living in London and somebody gets killed in Manchester. I may never hear of it. Yeah, I could be in Scotland and somebody gets killed in Coventry. I may never hear of it. But Gambia is a very small area, a very small country. So if somebody gets killed, near enough the whole of Gambia hear about it. If somebody gets burgled, people talk about it and people hear about it if it's shared. Um, so it's about sharing experiences so that we are forewarned and then we can be forearmed. And then it's about discussing how can we be forearmed? How can we protect ourselves as women? What is the advice from other women on how they protect themselves? How do we form a, a, a safety net? How do we form emergency contacts? Um, these are the discussions that we want to have and we need to have. Um, where do we buy pepper spray? Is it legal in the Gambia? Um, these are the discussions. And so I thought I would share that um, four sisters. I live in the Gunjur area and Gunjur area is safe. So it's not a narrative now to say, oh, don't go and live in the Gunjur area. Gambia is changing. I've been coming to the Gambia for over 14 years. And I used to be able to go from one end of the Gambia to the other as a single female and not feel away at all. Um, I used to be able to walk anywhere I used to be able to sorry I'm just looking at what my dog's doing <laughs> I used to be able to walk everywhere I used to be able to drive everywhere no matter what the time of day or night it is but the world is changing and Gambia is changing there's a lot of influx of people in the Gambia that have come in to settle here a lot of people so that in turn changes the Gambia there are a lot of people that are being deported that are Gambian and non-Gambian that again changes Gambia and um, there's a lot of young people that are growing up now and, and there's a lot of young people in Gambia so that in it turn changes the whole structure from more of an elderly um, um, kind of population to a very young population so all of that changes a country so no, no, no country is never going to remain the same so we're not saying that Gambia is not safe so don't don't turn around and say, I'm not going to come to Gambia on a holiday. I'm not going to come and live in the Gambia no more. No, no, no. Your country is, 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 is the same. It's not no more or less dangerous than, than your country. It's probably less in terms of the, the size. It's just that because it's so small and something happens, everyone hears about it and everyone talks about it. So if there's a robbery today, then a robbery tomorrow. It's like on everyone's lips. It's like, oh my God, there's robberies. Gambia is full of robberies. No, it's not. The majority of Gambian brothers and sisters are peaceful, honest, loving, giving, happy, hardworking. It is the minority, the minority that does the burglars and the crimes and, and the robberies, the minority. So let's not get this out of perspective, yeah? And these minority crimes we're talking about them, crimes against women. We're talking about them because we want women to feel and be protected. So don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Comment, give us advice, give us support as women. Men give us advice and support as well. I don't know if there's anybody in the Gambia that does keep fit. Sorry, not keep fit, self-defense. It's kind of keep fit, but self-defense classes. If there's anybody or you know anybody that does self-defense classes, let us know. Because that's one thing that we can probably go in. We do a lot of walking in the Gambia. So self-defense is, is important. So if you know somebody that teaches self-defense, please let us know. And maybe as sisters, we can come together and have some self-defense classes. Um, me, I've got my dogs. Won't be without my dogs. Hey, um, he's a big boy.
This is a big, big boy. He's only eight months old. <laughs> and he's a, he's a big boy. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of women have dogs. Some people don't like dogs. Um, but again, if you have a dog, I know there are dog trainers as well in the Gambia and I can put their link in, in the comments below um, so that you can train your dog so that your dog can be a good guard dog. Um, but I don't feel that we should be locked in and, 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 and barbed wired in. And it's, it's a sad situation if that's, if that's the way it's going. So we need to have safety nets around so that we don't feel like prisoners in our own home. But thank you. Thank you for listening. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave a comment. Thank you. That's it, guys. The Gambia is no longer safe for African-American women anymore. These African-American women, they are no longer feeling safe while visiting the Gambia. Most of them are being unalived. Most of these African-American women, they are being hospitalized with serious injuries due to robberies, during, due to domestic violence. And it's actually making it harder for them to feel safe in this country. The Gambia has become, has become not a safe haven for these African-American women. So guys, thank you so much. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know your take on this video in the comment section. And let's tune in next time for another reaction. Bye.